I wanted to talk about immodesty, like in dress, in um, speech Mm -hmm. for women in particular, and how we use immodesty uh, as a weapon Mm. against men um, to dominate and um, like assert control. And I feel like that's not really popular to talk about either. Um, I know that I've done that in the past. I know that I recognize it. I recognize the temptation in myself to do that still. Even like, I don't know, like Instagram culture, for instance. Um, how many more likes does a woman get Like with the more skin that mm-hmm. she shows? It's like, it's a popular thing to do, right? But then how is that? I, I heard once that um, immodest dress is like, um a form of rape and that then so you think about it like your your i as a woman if i'm using my body to like dominate i'm inciting a response in a man that he didn't ask for Mm -hmm. say he didn't ask for so if he didn't ask for this and i'm there and i'm presenting myself in a way that like incites his response without his permission Mm mm-hmm then I think that's why that phrase resonates with me is that it's a form of rape. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's super delicate to to talk about, I think, but, um, but I, I think that's exactly right. I mean, the number of times um, that a guy is like biologically engaged and excited against his will yeah. <laughs> because of some, something he's seen. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that that happens all the time, right? Just mm-hmm. watching TV even. Right. A, you know, a random commercial where it... Or like driving down the highway in LA. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, or and then of like course... billboards and... Yeah. yeah, in personal interactions as well, that happens all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, where it's not what the guy is looking for or wanting, and mm-hmm. yet there it is presented to him in a way that he can't escape it and can't comment on it right now either which is which is a different piece to all of this but um Mm -hmm. but absolutely right which goes with which goes along with uh calling it a form of rape when it's like unspeakable almost culturally and so i oh there's one more point about that um oh yeah in that then in the heart of a man when this is happening against his will emphasis on the against his will Mm -hmm. that um that there's like an anger and resentment that can so easily be there against toward the person who's like inciting this incident, Mm -hmm. Um, which could also be really confusing. I imagine. Um, Absolutely. Not being on the other side of that, but like, but, but experiencing for myself, um, men who've tried to assert dominance over me sexually in the past like realizing that there could be mixed feelings of like for instance enjoyment for, for me like enjoying the attention and at the same time realizing something is wrong about this and like my freedom is being impinged upon and so i think that i, I could imagine that same scenario for men 